We have new information about the murder of a teenager in North Philadelphia. Police say the victim and his girlfriend were just two blocks from his home when that deadly robbery played out. Action News reporter Katie Catcher live at police headquarters with what we know right now, Katie. And Brian, the shooting happened in front of a charter school and not too far from Temple University's campus. While the school confirms the teenager that was shot was not a student, it was Temple University students who say they heard the gunshots and they called 911. I heard three gunshots, which woke me up, and then um, the girlfriend of the man that was shot was just screaming. Samantha Hellstrom and her roommates woke up to a fatal shooting just after 2 a.m. right below their apartment on the 1700 block of Cecil B. Moore Avenue in North Philadelphia. We looked out the window and he was just laying face down. Police say 18 year old Amir Jones was shot in the chest about two blocks from his home. His girlfriend says she was out walking with him when two men, one armed with a gun, pushed them up against a wall and went through their pockets, taking her cell phone. Then she says for no reason her boyfriend was shot in the chest. Her it's screams sad. were louder than the gunshots itself. Yeah, we were all just kind of standing there crying. Hellstrom says the girlfriend banged on their door for help and she called 911. She took this picture outside her apartment of police rushing Jones to the hospital where he later died. Temple students say they got a tea alert about this and are shaken up. We all slept in my bed after because everyone was pretty shook. Well, because when they were like the woman was banging on our door right below my apartment, it seemed like there was nothing more the kid could have done. So, um, uh, it, it does. It scares me. It scares me a lot. And police say they didn't find any bullets at the scene, but they are looking through surveillance video, hoping to get some clues. In the meantime, those two men were last seen fleeing down 18th Street. Reporting live here at police headquarters, Katie Catro, Channel 6, Action News. Brian and Sarah. All right, Katie, thank you.